Dozer. You ready to go for a ride? Hey, eh? you wanna go for a ride? Yeah. Calm. Sit. Yeah, I know. Sit. Yes, we'll go for a ride. Yeah. Shake. Shake. Good boy. All right. You ready? Okay. Put those are out for a run. But I know you're excited. Stay. Stay. Off you go. Disturb the old duck having a swim. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come down here a fair bit for a run. He hasn't been in here yet, but he'll get over adventures one day. Hope there's nothing nasty in there. Steel. Oh! Busted. What are you doing? Oh, you feel better now, do you? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Good boy. <whistles> Come on, Mr. Sniffy. <whistles> Come on, Dozer. Ex oh, he's going for, I must have interrupted him for his <laughs> number twos before. Sorry, Jep. Alright, I'll leave you be, mate. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Whoa! Is that good? Hey? Is that good? So while I'm out here, good bit of sunlight, not in the carport. Might do a rundown. Um, I think I did one earlier, uh, way back, and uh, I'll do another one now just to go through for anyone that uh, is interested or hasn't seen it um, up to now or anything before. I should say. I'll start under the bonnet first. Um, I've taken everything out that I could, even the engine twice. It's a long story. Uh, radiator is, uh, I think, it's full brass. Um, thoroughly clean that out. Oh, copper I've got written there sorry so copper brass whatever it is everything's been taken out thoroughly cleaned put back um, brakes have been bled this is the second engine this is actually a brand new engine um, I pulled the original one out rebuilt it put it back in had a had a problem um, that's in an earlier series you'll see that basically this engine I sent away to um, China got it uh, delivered, reassembled. It was just a short block, sorry. So I had to reassemble it basically again. Uh, had all the eternals. Um, intercooler, it still works. It's factory. I resprayed it, resprayed the engine, of course. Um, this is just a fan shroud because it didn't come with the vehicle. So I just had to make a bottom and top one up that old plastic. Um, what else we got in here? We've got a compressor 
tucked away in here. Um, fan still works. The AC I had a bit of dramas with. Um, had to bypass it and put a. Um, it's just directly on on all the time. Um, standard battery, Century. I always use Century batteries. Australian made. Uh, always do me fine. Got alligator clips here. Go on to the terminals. That's for the um, compressor if and when I need it. Um, I've got wiring under here. It's all labelled for what I've done. I've run extra power to the back and inside. Um, everything is basically stock standard. Um, Resprayed the bonnet a long time ago because it was knackered. Um, yeah, everything inside is standard. I've replaced the starter motor, the alternator. Uh, it's got a brand new clutch. Um, all the bearings that are done for that. Um, that's underneath. It, uh, yep, yeah, I just wanted it stock and reliable. It, uh, it does me for what it is. It's very reliable so far. Um, what have we got? Bull bar I picked up off, um, Facebook. I think it was like $110. Um, and I did in a bit of Rhino. Rhino, uh, paint. What do you call it? Uh, Raptor paint, whatever. Raptor, sorry. And then glo glossed it. Tyres, mud tyres. Fairly new. Um, well, they are new, actually. They've still got the, uh, little teats on them there. The rims, um, I picked them off the same thing off, uh, Facebook. I got four 17 by 8s Um, I think it was $180 for the four of them. I come off a Jeep, and I cleaned them up, coated them, black gloss, and then, yeah. Gave them a clear, really good with hardener in it. The hubs, um, bearings are all done. The um, I put on manual hubs, took the autos off. Uh, what do we got? Side steps. I'm pretty sure that's original factory. Um, paints let go through all up here. Put a bit of tinting on the front. Uh, the rack on top. It's um, it's an original Western Australian mob track lander. Um, they're like brand new, around 1300, 1500 new, all alloy. I did have to extend uh, here for my roof clearance, um, but I picked this up. The table ends for same thing, pretty cheap. I think it was about 150 bucks. Um, at the back, looking at some another couple of rims off uh, Facebook and replace that back one once again it's all standard i did respray this in the raptor lining the, the rear bull bar bumper bar um, what else we got underneath um the fuel tank it was full of black um horrible fungus so i dropped the fuel tank but to do that i take the tow bar off the rear bumper um the fuel tank right out, clean it out, and uh, then inside, underneath your carpet here, you roll it back and you get to an opening, some, some bolts, and that's where your um, uh, fuel filter is. Okay, inside here, um, once again, I've removed the back seats. It was all very stock standard. Um, since then, I've put the drawer in just got some uh, spares in there at the moment uh, tow chain and uh, uh, yeah a couple of bits and pieces still getting underway with everything and and uh, yeah it's pretty good it's got the four points here I just mounted the uh, the drawer itself uh, you roll the carpet back find um, I had anchor points and then just push through with the carpet, um, marked them, cut the carpet, and um, yeah, it's, it was pretty good actually. Um, you do have to take it apart and then sort of reassemble the top. 
Uh, the latest thing, I've just done a, a video of putting this uh, King's control panel or dash panel, whatever you want to call it, um, together. And um, yeah, that was, mm -hmm. yeah, I hate electrics, wiring, that was heaps of fun, but um, finally got there. Um, yeah, it's pretty good quality. You've probably seen a lot of reviews on this, so I'm not going to go on, but um, you got your USBs down there, and I think the rest are all, um, yeah, just normal sockets, cigarette lighter sockets. Um, the voltmeter, I don't know how much that's going to chew. You can un unwire at the back and turn that off. Uh, if anyone knows in the comments how much that would actually, you know, kill the battery over how many months or years. Um, the fuse box on this, um, inside the lights, there's red lights that come on and it tells you when a fuse is gone. I did have one of them, a fuse was gone, gone, blown, and the light didn't come on. Um, I'll have to check that later on, but, um, what else? That's that. Oh, with this King's control panel, um, all I've got hooked up is this one here, switch. I took the original one out, had this one, um, because I want to know when it's on. When you turn it on and off, these ones here, you don't know, it could be bumped. And I'm actually thinking of making a, a a little bar or something to stop these from getting bumped. Um, but yeah, that's the, there it is, of course. Um, that's about it for inside. Uh, just got bits and pieces in the container there so in the back I've got a sheet an old sheet over the uh, the seat because uh, dog hair fur dog friend in the back um, you can see this is all his slobber and drill here um, so it's all stock standard um, I've got one window that doesn't go up or down at all still in the uh, too hard basket to get that done later. Look at it. Um, just got a yeah compressor hoses and stuff in there. Um, inside, yeah, it's still it's pretty good um, except for the hair. And in the front, um, yeah, all stock standard, of course, except for some little mods I've done. Put a handle up here. Um, what else have I done just recently? Uh, the controls. <clears throat> I've got the rear spotlights um, rigged up. Front spotlights. Once again, I've got the lights so they come on and on, on and off so you know uh, that they are. Because this is all linked directly to my main battery. Um, which I um, might put another battery in later on. Don't know. Gear stick. Um, I actually extended it because it was um, you like reaching, it was too bloody low. Um, driven a lot of four drives, and uh, I had the last ones don't remember being that low. Um, and then just made this up out of some uh, uh, oh, what's it called epoxy resin hardener, put some of my bits and bobs in there, um, wire, nuts and bolts, sort of to do with car stuff, I suppose. Um, Changed out the um, 12 volt cigarette plug here because uh, the other one was just corroded. This is a um, 12 volt here. The wires come straight from underneath the bonnet and that plugs into my Garmin dash cam up here, um, which has got a lot of good functions. And I just made up this surround myself. Um, just went to Bunnings and got some um, Lemon X hard plastic and it was actually I did heat it up and mould it and just sitting in the sun in the heat probably can't see it that well but it has actually folded down that's how hot it gets in here um, that's just uh, it, it works it's not the best um, and I do leave a window cracked open most times just a little bit of venting um, as you can see, yep, it's all pretty straightforward. The dash, um, I've got a vacuum leak with the rev counter. It fluctuates, comes off and on. Um, I'm getting about to quarter of a tank, uh, about 250 Ks, 
just as it is, not loaded up or anything. Um, and that was going up and down a range. Um, what else we got? Up top with the sunroof, I do not use it. Um, it does have a slight leak. I've got tape all on the top, very good rhino sort of tape. Um, plus I've got the canopy with a board over it, so it doesn't leak now. Um, I've got to take the fuse out because I do not want to touch it in case it, uh, the electrics freeze or it jams. I've got your basic controls or um, uh, what do they call you? Gauges up here, the original uh, retro. So the oil pressure, um, it's really good. The voltmeter uh, there and the, um, the angle that you're on and that, that works too, but um, I don't know how well. The glove box, the lock does play up every now and again, so I don't hardly use that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, just solid, useful vehicle, that's all I, I require. Um, so yeah, got to go camping yet with the dog. Go somewhere like this, but have a fire and whatnot. Hey buddy. Alright, thanks for watching. And if you aren't subscribed, please like, follow, subscribe. And uh, really grateful, helps the, uh, the channel build. And uh, so me and Dozer can go on some adventures. Hey buddy, ready to go for a ride? Come on, getting in the back. Okay buddy, let's get in the back.